and it is a good time for you to join us again. Taylor McEwen, of course, her last win in the previous final, the women's 200 breaststroke, and now the women's 100 backstroke, and little sister, the world record holder and Olympic champion, has never won a Commonwealth Games title. Four years ago, as a 16-year-old, she finished fourth on the Gold Coast behind Kylie Moss. Kylie Moss, the defending champion, silver medalist from the World Championships, 2019 world champion and the silver medalist in Tokyo behind Kaylee McEwen. So it really is set up Thorpe and Annabelle lanes four and five. The defending champion against the Olympic champion and of course Minna Atherton in this one as well. And certainly a shot at a medal here. She'll be in lane two. We have amazing pedigree in this event. We've won 11 golds, more than half of the 21 that have been awarded. Three women have won this event twice. Linda Ludgrove, Nicole Livingston, Emily Seabom. Sophie Eddington in 2006, the only swimmer to claim the 5100 double at the same games. And there's Minna Atherton. She's the fifth fastest qualifier. Yeah, the 22-year-old, her second Commonwealth Games team, she finished third in all three backstroke events at the Australian Championships. Only contesting the one and 200 here, a World Championship silver medal in this event from 2019. And she was just behind Kylie Moss, a time of 58.85 then. And that was the same year she broke the short course world record at an ISL meet. And there is Kaylee McEwen, the Olympic champion and world record holder. Kylie Moss, a previous world record holder. She always looks so relaxed, Kaylee. Giving a wave to the camera. She, you saw her yell out to Minna Atherton. Good luck, Minna. <laughs> yeah, certainly it would have been an emotional time. Taylor would have been very emotional at the end of the previous race. And it would have been a big moment as well for Kaylee. So it's the Kaylee and Kylie show in the middle lanes. Kylie Moss, defending champ. Been a star of this sport. Brilliant backstroker, great rivalry with our own Emily Seabom, of course. She beat M four years ago at the Gold Coast Games. And the emerging star, who was fourth then, went on to Olympic glory, a world record as well. Kaylee McEwen alongside her in five. And Minna Atherton lane two. So both of the Aussies got away off the wall very nicely. Up and stroking now with the middle lanes of Kaylee McEwen and Kylie Moss and not much between them. The yellow caps are well placed. Minna Atherton lane two at the top of the screen and Kylie Moss just edging her way in front ever so slightly. And alongside Kaylee McEwen is Lauren Cox of England in lane six. Minna had a fantastic start, great underwater work. Kylie Moss and Kaylee McEwen came up right at the 15 metre mark. Let's see what Kaylee can do off the turn here. She's got really good underwater power and they've come up pretty even, scooping as much as they can, both in the centre of the lane. It looks like Kylie's stroke rate might be slightly higher, holding slightly more water, but there's nothing between it. So big finish coming up. Kaylee McEwen, the world record holder, the Olympic champion, alongside the defending champion. It's Canada and Australia middle lanes, the world champ in front can she get it done olympic champion becomes the commonwealth champion kaylee McEwen. she does it again and this time with a games record kaylee McEwen, superb performance and well done minna atherton lane two she finished fourth in the final of the women's 100 backstroke what an amazing last 30 metres. It was a battle between Kylie and Kaylee down the final closing stages of that race. It was neck and neck. It looked like Kylie was ahead for a little while, but Kaylee fought back in the end. A perfect touch on the wall as we look underwater and see them holding so much water, so still, head position so great as 
Kaylee edges ahead, and it was all down to the touch. A perfect lunge back. She, Kylie Moss, uh, actually hit the lane rope there on the second last stroke going back. Don't think she was going to win at that point anyway, and clearly just striving Thorpey for that extra distance. Uh, that was a little uncharacteristic. Well done to the Aussies. Brilliant performance, and well done to Kaylee McEwen. On top, 58.60, so it takes the Commonwealth Games of Kylie, of Kylie Moss. Yep, um, four years so ago. she's taken a world record and she's taken her Commonwealth Games record now as well, but I think they're uh, pretty good friends. And I think we're over to Kate Campbell right now with Kylie McEwen. Yes, we are. Thanks, Thorpey. Kaylee, Olympic champion, Commonwealth. You looked pretty happy with that. Yeah, I mean, I was looking for a little bit faster, but you got to take the positives. Um, I mean, it's way better than last come game, so I couldn't ask for much more. We know that family means so much to you. You have that beauty on your foot to remember your dad. It's the last thing you see before the gun goes and you just watch Taylor swim in her last ever race. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty emotional for us, to be honest. Um, we've both been through a hell of a lot, especially Taylor. And, she actually came into marshalling, tears in her eyes, so I couldn't be more proud of her in the career that she's had. I know when I was younger, there's a six years age gap, so I used to follow her all around the pool and to see her finally finish up her career on such a high is awesome. It's wonderful. We know that she is one of your biggest supporters and you had your family in the crowd. There's a pretty funny photo of them. I don't know if you've seen it. They're all dressed up. They have to be one of your biggest supporters. Yeah, I mean, it's where I get it from. Um, there's just no care in the world, so they're just out here to have fun and support all the Aussies, not just our family. We love watching you have fun. We love watching you win gold medals. Congratulations, Kaylee McEwen, Commonwealth champion. Thank you, guys.